to get back to town before dark. This Smith murder got me feeling my Joe safe out on the road. Got to get going. Get up! Quick! Anything I can do, Miss Sanders? Nothing. Kind of thought a little for me. Well, I'll see. But that looks like all right coming down. I thought he was working for Miss Dane. Reckon he's gone quick? Well, if he has, he's going to hear plenty from me. Yeah, I don't know. Well, why are you here? Why am I here? I quit. That's why I'm here. And don't look at me like that. You were sent up there to work and help Ted Ames get started. I worked. I did work. I worked like a dog for that young help. And what good does it do? You promised me you'd stick to Ted. Why, nobody will stick to that fellow. I tell you, he's no good. Why, I was up in the head and getting cattle. What did he do? Why, he sold all the grain and hay. Well, that's no excuse for running away and leaving him alone. Running away? I didn't run away. I told him, pulling blank to the face, I was quitting. Well, then who's taking care of the cows? Of the cows? Why, there's no cows. When I was out getting the hay, he gave the cows away. Here. Look at that. They won't fix the fences. The roof leaks. I tell you, it's no good. Where is he now? Well, maybe he's on his way back with that horse. Horse? Oh, honey. No, oh, I didn't need to talk like that. Sandy. Here he comes. If you want me, I'll be over near the barn. Hello, Sandy! All right, huh? Well, he belongs to you. I got him for you. Don't you like him? I think he's swell. Swell, huh? Ted, why don't you try to make something of yourself? Why do you do these awful things? Awful things? Yeah. Your fences. Why don't you fix them? Your roof. Your stuff. Ted, what on earth's wrong with you? Wrong? Don't you realize you're the joke of Swiss water? Oh, now listen, honey. As far as the fence is concerned, why, nobody ever comes to my place. And as far as the roof is concerned, it, it's been raining and I couldn't fix it. Why don't you fix it when it's not raining? Oh, well, when it don't rain, it, it don't leak. Uh, I've been awful busy. You'll never change. You've always been this way. Even when we were in school, you... Oh, now listen. Oh, don't tell me again how dumb I was in school. You're not dumb. You're just plain... Oh, now listen, Sandy. Let's don't argue. Let's kind of be, be friends, huh? You 
No, uh, we're going to be married. Married? Well, yes, don't you remember? We're engaged. Ted Ames, I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man on earth. You're just not worth two hoops. Well, take that dink and get out of here and don't ever let me see you again as long as I live. Hey! Hey, Sandy, that ain't no dink. I trade 11 horses for him. Well, they're funny. Silver, that road goes home and this one goes to town. What'll it be, huh? It's on the flipboard. Yes, we go home and tails we go to town. Ted, she don't like us anyway. Ted. Seems like we ain't got no luck today. Tails. He's on his tail. Down it is.
Ain't he a dead game loser? He'd lost the place anyway. He ain't no good. And he had one of them aces of spades. Probably found it. Who'd ever try and get any money out of dead age? Going. Inside. Why don't you open the gate? Oh, what's the use? You know, ten thousand dollars is a lot of money, Mr. Klein. Hey, but Truesdale, you know that my land and stock is worth more than that much, and it's clear. <laughs> yes, I, I think the loan could be arranged. Roberts, draw up a note in mortgage for ten thousand dollars for Mr. Klein here. Surely. Oh, uh, Miss Mackenzie's outside. Thanks. Excuse me a minute, Mr. Klein. Hello, Mr. Truesdale. Anything I can do for you? Yes, I, I'd like to talk to you. Right, howdy, Sandy. How's your dad? Hello, Mr. Klein. He's away selling his herd. That's good. I hope he gets a good price for him, Sandy. Uh, won't you come in, Miss Andy? Yes, thank you, Mr. Truesdale. Here, sit down. All right, now what can I do for you? I'm worried about Dad, his herd. And I received an ace of spades and a note demanding $10,000 of my father's life. Well, the situation grows more desperate hourly. But sooner or later, they'll blunder. Then we'll catch them. But in the meantime, Dad's up there not knowing what's happening here. He might be killed. I've got to have that money. Do you own any part of the Half Moon Ranch, Sam? No. No, I don't, but... But I know that later Dad would understand and realize I did it for him. 
Well, I'm sure of it. Hey, Robert. Draw $10,000 for Miss McKenzie and bring it back at once. I, I haven't anything to offer for security except my word, but I know Dad will back me up on that. Miss Sandy, I'd take your word any time. Here you are, Mr. Truesdale. Oh, All right, fine. Well, Sandy, here's your money. Thank you, Mr. Truesdale. I, I know, I know. I'm sorry this had to happen, but you just keep your courage up. The people of Sweetwater are going to find some way to catch those criminals. Well, now you cheer up, Miss Sandy. Everything's going to be all right. Thank you. Now listen, folks. My brother's just been shot. You all know I won Ted Ames Ranch yesterday and sent Jake out with him to take over. Jake was found dead on the Ames Ranch with a black ace on his chest. Len, is what you say true? Well, Sandy, that's about it. Of course, Ames might have some explanation, but we haven't been able to find hide nor hair of him. He's no good, Sandy. I wouldn't worry about him. He isn't worth it. That's my business. I'll do my own worrying. And I don't want to see you around my ranch again. Where are you riding to? In a town to see the sheriff. Sheriff? Ted, don't you realize what that would mean? What? Oh, Ted, why did you do it? Do what, Sandy? Don't try to pretend. They're ready to lynch you in Sweetwater. Len Stoddard's got them all worked up over your shooting Jake. Shooting Jake? I didn't shoot Jake. That's why I'm on my way into town. Somebody else shot him. Well, then why didn't you report it to the sheriff? I was out trying to find the real murderers last night. Jake Stoddard was found dead with the ace of spades on him. Ace of spades? There wasn't any ace of spades on him when I left him. There's something funny about this. Please take my word for it and keep out of sight till this thing blows over. Quick, Ted, there's somebody coming. All right, if it'll make you feel better. Here, Tears, don't shoot. Take it. Take what, Henry? Ted Ames, what are you doing here? Hungry, you want to help a pal out? Hey, what do you got from there? Expecting someone? Well, I... Put your hands in the air. Stay where you are. And throw that bag back here. Now you stay just the way you are for five minutes. If you don't want to get hurt. Hey, Henry, what'd you have in that bag? Ten thousand dollars? Ten thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, them black aces didn't kill us. Hey, listen, do you mean to tell me you gave $10,000 to that fella? What for? Well, did you ever get a note telling you to leave $10,000 or you'd get shot? Well, then you ain't ever had any thrills, boy. And with it, a black ace. Black ace? Ah, that's where I got you. Hey, get your hands up. You got that? Sure. What did you do about it? Nothing. You mean you ain't afraid of them black aces? I haven't got any time to bother with that boogeyman stuff. Boogeyman? Didn't you just see me hand over 10,000? Sure I did. Well, what could I do? You want me to get shot? Hey, listen, you haven't got any troubles, Henry. I have troubles. I suppose you know I lost everything I had to Len Stoddard. And besides that, Sandy quit me. Jake Stoddard was killed on my place last night. Was you there? Sure I was. Then why don't you go in and tell the truth? Well, in the first place, they wouldn't believe me. They won't put me in the jail. In the second place, well, I'm going to find out who's back of this scare. Boy, you and me could work together. You want to know something? Sure. There's no plain outlaws in on this deal. When we find the trail, it'll be big stuff, Ted. That's what I'm aiming for. You think it's okay now to put our hands down, Henry?
Who's that? Looks like Loomis. I don't like him. You talk to him. Hello there, Loomis. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh, Len and I just looking for some black aces. Where's Len started now? He'll be along. Hey, that looks like Ted Ames. Hey, hey! Ted was here when them scoundrels took my money. Oh, I'm not surprised after what's been happening around here. Well, they're looking for you when the murder of Jake started. I didn't kill Jake started. Well, you can tell that to the court. Maybe you know something about these black aces, too. Black aces? Do you mean that Ames had anything to do with that? Well, after killing Jake started, he might do anything. Why, you snake in the grass letting me harbor a criminal. Ah, uh, the boys will be glad to see you in Sweetwater. Why, I ought to finish you right now, imposing on me the way you've done. You gonna take him now or wait for land? I'm gonna take him now. You killed him, Will! You? Well, how did you miss him? I must have fired before I got shot. Have you got a horse? Right over there. Hey, Ted Ames was just here. He stole my horse and beat it up the road. How did he do that? Oh, how do I know? Get on that horse and let's go. I guess we lost him. You realize what happened? The saddlebags. Well, suppose he finds the money. If he does, he'll have to prove the money was in the bags when he took the horse. Yeah, but the 10,000, what'll the boss say? I don't know what he'll say to you. It's another story. Let's hope he turns the horse loose without looking. I feel sorry for you. Home. Should be soon. Here's a letter looks like Jeff Walker's writing. Hmm. Must be news. Now here Ted Ames stole Boyd Loomis' horse and ran out of Klein's place when Boyd accused him of killing Jake. Hank, that isn't true. Well, it must be. Even old Henry Klein admits it. Boyd's offering a thousand dollars reward for the rest of Ames. Too darn bad, Sandy. I like that Ames boy. Well, I'll have to be getting him. Fences fixed. What next? Ike, I want you to ride a fast horse to Harpoon. This came from Jess Walker just now. Funny the old man buying more herd. Very funny. Ike, I want you to wire Dad in Prairie Owl and ask him if he bought more herd. If the answer is no, wire Jess Walker immediately to bring the boys back home. Sure. You watch me. I'm afraid something terrible might happen.
Doggone your hide, trying to scare a fella to death. What you got there? Been robbing the bank? Ever see that before? My money. That's the bag they took. Where'd you get it? Out of the saddle bag on Loomis's horse. Where'd he get it? That's what I'd like to know. In the meantime, you keep it. Where's the horse now? Out here in back. I just rode him in. I'm going to send him home after a while. Hey, Loomis, if Wait he's a minute, in on this, he'd ought to be lynched. I'm but going to town to tell about this. You're going to do no such thing? You want to spoil my scheme? What scheme? Don't you remember what you said about somebody big being at the head of this? Sure. Well, I'm after that big guy, and this is my party, and I want you to be a good dog for a while. Okay, here's your marbles. No, you keep them. I want to figure this out in my own way. Listen, I've been riding all night. My belly thinks my backbone's broke. How about something to eat, huh? Sure. We've got plenty of grub. Come on. How's that silver horse of mine? Fine. He's in the barn. Maybe the black aces. See you later, Frank. Get my horse, boys. I had a little accident down the road. Yeah? Hurt much? No, not bad. That's a big idea. Sergeant. Hey, what is this? A hold up? I guess this is it all right. Hey, give me that. I got used to that. Where you're going, you don't need letters or anything. Put him aboard the horse, where you'll take him with us. That's what you get for quitting a good outfit. They've got a letter I'm supposed to take in town. What kind of sand is letter from Jess Walker? I've got to send a wire to the old man, tell him to get back here. What's he in trouble? That's her business. Well, then why don't you stay off the main road? Kind of duck around the brush a little bit. You able to ride? Sure, I can ride any old Bronco. This ain't the first time I carry lead in my old carcass. Well, then get your old carcass on that horse, will you? Come on. Put your foot up. Get on your way, will you? Yeah. What happened? Hey! Say, if you ever leave me to put the loan again, I'll cut your throat. Shut up. I want to know what happened. I'm hit pretty hard, boss. Fine pair of scent after anything. Get on your horse and go to the cabin. Well, we had that old guy all showed up. A fellow on a white horse came along. And? He creased me, that's all. White horse? Why, that's Ted Ames. We've got to get him. The boss would like to talk to him. Which way did he go? How do I know? He was chasing us, that's all. Well, get back to the cabin. The rest of you, straight out. We'll pick him up.
Charlie's horse. We're taking him to camp. All right, some of you fellas, lend a hand here. That's right, put him on. That's it. All right, come on. Think we better stop? He looks plenty low to me. Uh, he'll last long enough until the boss finds out what he wants to know. We better take a look at this. You pull she'll try to get another message through. She'll know better when all right gets back to the ranch and tells her what happened. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm kind of worried about him. He's been quiet too long. Ah, he'll be all right. He'll be around pretty soon. You couldn't kill him with an axe. Listen. Get him into that room. It's the sheriff. I don't want him to find him here. In the meantime, get outside and stand by in case there's trouble. Outfit here looking for strays. Rather dangerous time for stray outfits to be camping around Sweetwater. No stranger. Remember, Len Stoddard introduced me to you. There he comes now. Hello, Sheriff. Hello, Len. Glad you got here, Stoddard. I was afraid the Sheriff might pick me up as a suspect. Didn't remember meeting me with you. Well, Sheriff, looks like we're all out trailing the Black Aces. Any news? I understand why we haven't been able to pick up Ted Ames. Some way I can't bring myself to believe that the boys really remember the Black Aces. Oh, Potter. Oh, he's a little wild, but that's all. But anyway, I sent for a handwriting expert to look these over. You ought to be able to check back on some of this writing. Maybe Truesdale can help out on those. And they haven't. He has the signatures of most of the folks around here at the bank. Sorry, Lynn, but... I think I better keep these until that handwriting fella gets here. All right, Sheriff. You riding the town? No, not yet. My friend here has promised to help me round up some strays while he's in Sweetwater. Okay. Go on. So long, Sheriff. Oh. Better stay out here and keep your eye open. Where is he? In there. He won't need that. He's out. Be able to talk, won't he? Oh, I hope so. Let's send some of the boys down to watch the lower road. Got it, you ran a hand. Watch that lower road. Can't afford to take any chances. If he makes a break, shoot. And shoot to kill. This is once he won't get away. If things get too hot, you can always head back to the basin, you know. Come on. Now. Guess who's in Black Aces? Who? Len Stoddard. Can you prove it? I just left the shack and from what I overheard, the basin's their hideout. Hey, have you got a gun? Sure, you can have mine. They took mine. Where are you going now? Run up the mountain to find that old prospector. He knows the basin like a book. See you later, Klein. Why is you going, Miss Sandy? I'm just going for a ride. 
Uh, please don't be late. He's a going to have fried chicken tonight. All right, I won't be late for that. Uh, Miss Sandy, now please don't be late. See you, Joe. Uh, what you doing up around here? Joe, did you ever run across any cabins up in the foothills here? Mm, nope. Why? Well, there's a gang of outlaws making it mighty miserable for folks in Sweetwater. Of course, they're only tools for the higher-ups. I'd like to find where they hang out. Well, if they're hiding, they'd most likely pick the basin. That's what I thought. How do you get there? Well, as I said before, sir, if they're hiding, the only way you'll get in there It'll be by the swinging bridge. Swinging bridge. Mm -hmm. Of course, there'd be guards up there, wouldn't they? Oh, yes, most likely they would, Chip. Hey, you know, I reckon I know about every foot of this here country. I went down into that basin once on a rope. On a rope? Yep. Here. I'll uh, sit down here now. I'll, I'll draw you a map. Uh, have you got a pencil? Please? I don't believe I have, Joe. Hey, wait, maybe I'll find one. <laughs> here, here it is, way down at the bottom of that bucket. Now here, see? Now right here is where we be now. Yeah. Now from here, you take the road goes over there. Yeah. And then take a turn here to the right, see? Yeah. Right. Wait a minute, Joe. Wait. Are all of these turns in here? No. Just nervous. Uh, when you get over here now, right there's a swinging bridge. Yeah. And down in here, well, that's the base. There you be. Well, stand for supper, Ted. Oh, no, no thanks, Joe. I, I gotta get to that basin. Mm -hmm. Some other time, maybe, huh? All right. Anytime. Thanks, Joe. See you later. All right, Kate. This kind of careless riding around broad daylight? No, nah, they ain't any danger. Not till them half moon boys come back. And that won't be for a long time. <laughs> What's the news in town, Wolf? Ted Ames has got that big gun claw in his hair. He's given orders to shoot Ames on sight. Say, I thought the law was after Ames. It is. And I'd like to get my hands on him first. No stone, Fuzzy. We gotta get moving. The boss is riding up the start of this afternoon. You mean to split the money? Sure. Say, I've got to fix my saddle. I'll catch up with you guys later. Okay. Put your hands back here. 
Turn around. Back over there. I'm going to trade jobs with you for a little while. Drop that gun. Now, if you do exactly as I say, you won't get in any trouble. Fall down that hill there. Fuzzy is. You ought to be here. Huh. Don't worry about him. He likes to travel alone. Now, what's the password? Come on, what's the password? Lobo. 
You better not double cross me on this. When they holler down there, you answer them. Lobo! All right, gang. Now, how many more are coming? Three more. Three more. Who are they? You'll find out when you get here. In a bad spot to get tough, you know that, don't you? the one doing on the bridge. He belongs to that first gang. The notion to bump him off just for fun. Reported only wake the rest of them up. Shack. <laughs> All right, I'll join you as soon as I finish this thing. All right. Save one for me. Hey, come out of there. Come on. Don't shoot. Sandy, what are you doing here? You better let me go if you know what's good for you. Yeah, well, we let the boss decide that. Take her on into cabin. Hey, you fuck! Better take that gun off of her. Make yourself comfortable. Well, why don't you get the parsley and go out after? Oh, you know darn well they a men in town you can trust. You don't know who's for you. Well, but uh, what's worrying me is where is she? She ain't in the habit of staying away like this, is she, Ike? No, but... Uh, no! Sand this horse! Gone to places anyway. God, if those boys of mine were only here. Jess and the boys are sure as I'm a foot high. Hey, what's happened? Sandy's gone. Where? How do I know? She went out for a ride. Thought she came back with silver. Probably met Ames, and the horses got tired of waiting. And... Ames, nothing. The Black Aces got the folks almost crazy around here. Black Aces? Yeah. Hey, come back here. Hey, hey, come back here. Come back here, Silver. Come back here. Hey! 
Hey, come back here, Silver. Let him go. Come, come on, boys. Where are you going? Follow on that horse. He's got something on his mind. Come on, Kay. Looks like they're all here. Let's go. Here comes the three now. Answer them and don't make any mistakes. Get down. Hello, boys! All right, gang. Guess that's all of them. Now listen, if you're a good boy, I'll turn you loose when I get through down there. Don't forget it, it gets cold out here at night. Well, you're pretty tough, you won't freeze. Here's your shotgun. How do, boss? How do you? You got a visitor in there. Yeah, who is it? Find this camp for a good many days now. Then you and Mr. Truesdale are with these outlaws. Sure they are. Wait till the people of Sweetwater hear about this. Now don't get excited, sir. Don't you talk to me, Len Stoddard. And you had the nerve to offer a reward for the capture of Ted Ames. Well, Ames got in our way. He still is, for that matter. Well, boys, let's get down to business. Now, there's 10,000 less than I figured on. Boyd bungled, and let Ames get away with the climb money. You'll never get away with this. Oh, yes, they will. They're leaving tonight, and you're going with them. I wonder what those horses are doing here, Sheriff. I don't know. Let's try the beat. Good work, Silver. Come on, boys. The half moon boy took the bridge. And I think the sheriff's with him. What kind of thing? And what? And what? Ted Ames around here someplace. <laughs> it's too hot for me. Eh? Let's get across the bridge. Did you get the bankers rounded up? I don't know. Yeah, you certainly did. 
One of the last and most important ones. What do you mean, young man? That you're the head of the Black Aces. That's true. I heard everything. And I have proof right here. And the thing. You were the most respected man in this country. This is an outrage. It's a frame up. And this girl is lying. Yes. Oh. He'll be all right. Ouch! Ned, I've changed my mind about that Palomino. Get up. I'd like to have him. Too late now. You think I'm going to squatter my money on a saddle or just play? Oh, but tell you, you traded all your saddle horses for that Palomino for me. That was last week, this week of a businessman. What kind of business? This kind of business, honey. And, and are you a partner? Sure. 